For a moment about holiness. This is very important. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews, without sanctification, without holiness, no one will see the Lord. And what that means is this. If you have truly believed in Christ unto salvation, then God will be working in you to make you holy. If there is no evidence that God is working in you to make you holy, there is a good chance that you have not truly been converted. Holiness, what is it? The word comes from a Hebrew word which at its root means to cut, to cut. Now my wife, uh, she loves to cook and she has this large cooking table and she'll put carrots on that table and celery and other things and she'll take a sharp knife and she'll begin to cut very quickly. And as she cuts the carrots or cuts the celery and a big pile of pieces of carrots and celery grow up here, she takes the knife and she not only cuts the celery or the carrot, but she also pushes it away and separates it from the rest of the bunch. And she keeps cutting and separating, cutting and separating. That's what God means when he's talking about holiness. When God saves a person, he is cutting them off from what? from the world. What is the world? Everything in, on this planet, every idea, every thought, every word, every action that contradicts God's will and God's nature. Everything on this earth that opposes God. When God truly saves a person, He cuts them off from that and He begins to separate them little by little, changing their life, getting the worldliness out of their life and drawing them unto Himself. Now, there's two aspects of holiness that's very, very important. One of them, holiness means to be separated from the world. Christian, one of the purposes of the scriptures is to teach us what God hates so that we will run away from it. Make no mistake, there can be no friendship with God and the world. And between the believer, there can be no friendship between the believer and the world. If God is truly working in you, he is going to use his word and the power of his spirit to do what? To reveal to you what is wrong in this world and to draw you away from it. But holiness is not only ceasing to do what is evil. But holiness is primarily running to God, to be devoted to God, to grow each day, year after year, in a greater and greater devotion to God. Now, you can't have both things. You cannot. When I teach my little children, each of them, when I taught them how to walk, I can remember all of them. They would pull themselves up on their two feet, holding on to a chair, and then they would reach out for their dad. And as they reached out for me, I would take a step back. And they would strain holding on to the chair and trying to grab me at the same time, but I wouldn't let them do it. I wanted them to see that if they're going to have me, they're going to have to let go of the chair. That's a good illustration of holiness. If you want God, you're going to have to let go of the world. And if you do not want to let go of the world because you love the world, then know this, the love of the Father is not in you.